I couldn't believe he met the President of the United States, shook President Obama's hand, he was won all these awards, and six months later, he was still living at home at 17, trying to do things in his house. Tony Robbins gave me a call one day. He saw a TED talk I gave. I, I knew him from the movie Shallow How with Jack Black. That was that was one of the bigger ones. But um, I, I I knew he's he's an author, uh, you know, performance and and life coach. He reached out and said, I, I want to help people around the world physically, and I love what you're doing. I love your ideas. They provided investment, uh, uh, mentorship, guidance to be able to go from a bedroom in Colorado to a garage to a facility. Uh, be able to start working with, with big companies. <laughs> Pretty much if you compare this to anything on the market, this is about an eighty to hundred thousand dollar prosthetic limb. And that's not acceptable. We can sell this for about five thousand dollars and that's a number that can make an impact around the world. This has individual finger motion, fingernails that someone can paint. We actually have a force feedback system, so you have a sense of touch. Hi, Momo. Hi. Oh, it's so good to finally meet you. <laughs> oh, wow. We even made some fingernails for you so you can like paint it and do all sorts of different stuff. <laughs> Within the first 10 minutes, Momo was able to pick up a fork, yeah. feed herself, open up doors, and you could see the moment that her brain clicked and she wasn't focused on moving her muscles, she was focused on moving her hand. Yes. And that's a really amazing- came her hand. Right, and yeah. it's almost a physical moment that you can see when that happens and it's, it's fascinating. Tell people a little bit about how this mission started and where it's where it's come. Yeah, well, you know, I grew up in a, in a small town in Colorado. I love to create and tinker. I created my first robotic hand when I was 14 years old. Over the next couple years, I advanced to four robotic arms, integrated 3D printing. Uh, when I was about 16 years old, I got my first 3D printer. I, I met a small girl at the science fair that completely blew me away, and I realized that uh, you know people that have had that have an amputation or have a limb difference. Uh, they really need a lot more technology out there. Um, it's just not acceptable for an $80,000 almost pair of shoes in a way that every 12 to 14 months a child outgrows this. And not only psychological you know, aspects of being bullied, but also physical everyday tasks that add up. And uh, I, it motivated me to really take this to the next level. And that, that first uh, young lady that you met, she was seven years old, if I remember right? Yeah, she was seven years old. And, yeah. and it was like a hook, right? They, all this money, it was just like a hook pulling things together, nothing to articulate, isn't that true? Yeah, um, it was an eyeful. I, I, I remember that day very clearly. I, I entered this robotic arm, it had individual finger motion, it could toss the ball, it could interact with you. And then there's this little girl that had an $80,000 prosthetic limb that was state of the art, that had a one motion, it was a human-like claw, and uh, it blew me away. This is the next Elon Musk, or then some. He, he, he'll be his own version of that. So this is only the beginning you hear from this amazing scientist and contributor to society. Love you, brother. Thank you, Tony. Thank you. Thank you.